Hippopotamister. Hippopotamister by John Patrick Green with color by Cat Carroll. To my favorite thing. The old city zoo was falling apart. No one was buying tickets. No one was managing the office. The habitats needed repair. The monkeys had no energy. The lion's mane wasn't very regal. The walrus's smile wasn't very bright. And in the center of, of it all lived Red Panda and Hippopotamus. Red Panda couldn't take it anymore. I've decided to leave the zoo and live amongst the humans. And he did. From then on, Hippo looked forward to the days when Red Panda would come back tell, and tell stories about the outside world. Life outside the zoo is great. My job is awesome. Winter. Hey, Hippo. Life outside the zoo is great. My job is awesome. Spring. Hey, Hippo. Life outside the zoo is great. My job is awesome. Summer. Hey, Hippo. Life outside the zoo is great. My job is awesome. Fall. Hey, Hippo. Life outside the zoo is great. My job is awesome. Until one day. Red Panda, I'm tired of living in this rundown zoo. And life outside the zoo sounds great. You always have these awesome jobs. Do you think you could get me a job too? Of course. But amongst the humans, you could no longer be just a hippopotamus. You must become a hippopotamister. And so, this is going to be the best job ever. I've never done anything like this before. How do I know I'm doing a good job? Relax, hippopotamister. You'll be a natural, like me. Well, I don't want to make any mistakes. No one expects you to be perfect, hippopotamister. What in blazes? What about being a skyscraper? Look at what you've done with the supplies. You two are fired. Don't worry, Red Panda. I know you can find us better jobs tomorrow. The next day. Construction work wasn't right for us, Hippopotamister. I found us a job with a lot more style. This is going to be the best job ever. It's about time I had a new look. Surprise me. I've never done this before, Red Panda. How do I know what hairstyle to give it? Just do what comes naturally, Hippopotamister. That's my motto. I don't know if this is natural, but I hope he likes it. I love it. I call it the Hippo Pompadour. I'm a monster. Don't worry, Red Panda. I know you can find us an even better job. That night. Cutting hair was too bland for us, Hippopotamister. I found us jobs that will suit our taste. This is going to be the best job ever. Big one, you make the pasta primavera. Little one, you make the antipasto. Cooking is a new thing for me, Red Panda. How do I know my food will taste good? Trust your instincts, Hippopotamister. Mine never fail me. Can't argue with that. Time for a taste test. Hippo pasta, primavera. Pasta al dente, tossed with garlic and olive oil, steamed broccoli, crisp bell peppers, and root tomatoes, sprinkling of parmesan over sautéed onions. Antipasto a la red panda. Critters, insects, and assorted bugs. Twigs, pebbles, and burnt rocks. Lint and mismatched buttons. Red vine licorice, mushrooms, and car keys. I can't serve this. It won't pass food safety inspection. It's come to our attention that this restaurant is serving rocks. We're going to have to shut you down. Don't worry, Red Panda. I know you can find us better jobs tomorrow. The next morning. I think I was a pretty good at being a chef, Red Panda. There were too many cooks in that kitchen, Hippopotamister. I found us a job worth investing our time in. This is going to be the best job ever.
Bankers do a lot of math. I think our boss is the walrus from the zoo. He still might get a job amongst the humans idea. Carry the one, and I've done it. For Panda, I've balanced the books. My mustache! You two are fired! Don't worry, Red Panda. I'm sure you'll find us a better job. I never knew I was so good with numbers. Forget about that. I found us a job we can really sink our teeth into. This is going to be the best job ever. Where I come from, a fish cleans my teeth. Nine out of ten dentists recommend brushing and flossing. Well, I guess that makes me the odd one out. Now spit. You won't get food stuck in your teeth anymore, that's for sure. <coughs> Don't worry, Red Panda. I know you can still find us even better jobs. Hippopotamus and Red Panda tried job after job, from firemen to fishermen to plumbers and musicians. But for some reason, none of the jobs were quite right. From athletes to lifeguards to paleontologists to art restorers. What job do you have lined up for us today, Red Panda? Two hard workers like us deserve a day off. How shall we spend our free time? I know. Let's see how the zoo is doing without us. But now that Hippopotamistra has seen the world, this gate could really use fixing up. These prices make no sense. The zoo looked worse than ever. Dry rot, water damage, rust. Split ends, poor conditioning, sudden damage. Stomach aches, vitamin deficiency, jaundice. Plaque buildup, gingivitis, cavities. Come on, let's get out of this dump. So Hippopotamister and Red Panda went back to work. But Hippo found himself distracted. You seem a little unfocused, Hippopotamister. But don't worry, this next job will be child's play. This is going to be the best job ever. These kids love me. They're so small. I'm afraid I might step on one. They can't get enough of me. It must be because I'm so fluffy. Maybe it's best if I just sit down. You almost crushed this poor child. You should leave, you animal. Don't worry, Hippopotamister. I'll find us new jobs in no time. Red Panda, I'm beginning to think getting a job wasn't a good idea. You're giving up? I don't know if I have it in me to be a Hippopotamister. Fine, quit. Go back to the zoo. I'll find the best job ever without you. But Hippo was still unhappy. And then he had an idea. So as the other animals slept, Hippopotamister went to work. He did the lion's hair. He made a meal for the monkeys. He cleaned the walrus's tusks. He corrected the ticket prices and even fixed up his best friend's empty habitat. When the animals woke up, the gate was repaired, the monkeys had energy, the lion had a regal mane, the walrus's smile shone brightly. But who had fixed up the zoo? Fixed our habitats. You fed us. You groomed us. And balanced the books. You left a hippopotamus and returned a hippopotamister. You can save the zoo. But I'm no good with children. 
How do I get them to come to the zoo? There you are, Hippo. I came back to apologize. Whoa, look at this. The monkeys are fed. The lion is groomed. The walrus's breath is fresh and minty. You fixed the zoo without me. I guess I'll go back to work amongst the humans. But Panda, wait. The zoo has a job opening. Will you come here to work as head of customer relations? Hmm. Never heard of that job. Plus, I haven't been able to shake all these kids that keep following me. This is the best job ever. So with help from my panda, the zoo was saved. Thanks to Hippopotamister and his many hats. And on this day off, Hippopotamister got to be just a hippo. The end.